We saw in that pressing, Carlos, a different side to Isaac and Benza's game today, for example. He won the tackle against the keeper, Ben Foster, that allowed Fraser Campbell that goal. Um, and that is another example of how Mbenza and others in the team are becoming more complete players, uh, thanks to your coaching and, and the efforts of your team. I never I think that uh, I am responsible of, of, of any things like I think the players are responsible of themselves and they are taking one level of commitment that is very important. For me, it's the necessary of the play that we have here in the club and I think everything is consequence of the commitment and effort of these players. After the 2-0 lead was established, what was, your in, what was your instruction to the team? How do you think they managed the, the game from that point onwards? I think in the moment we... We scored the two goals. I think we had to control the, the game, defending more the spaces. I think instead to go to make high presses and try to, to stay in one versus one situation in a higher spaces, we put the high of the line higher and we start to wait a little bit more. Instead to go looking for the central backs, wait a little bit that they came looking for us because I think uh, making this we are going to have more challenges in the middle and having players in the middle like O'Brien, like Bakuna, like Hawk. Or with this type of players, I think we could increase the recovery of the ball and it allowed us to, to come counter at But without the effort that these lads do in all the 90 minutes, it was impossible to, to have taken something positive of today. And that's where discipline became very important because Watford had a, a succession of corners and free kicks during a very intense period of the second half. How pleased are you with that, that particular achievement by your team to keep the clean sheet? I think one of the keys today, especially after you score two goals, is to, to keep the, the the clean sheet because you know that if you keep the clean sheet, uh, you are going to take the three points. So it was very important to have the commitment of all the players. We start in the pressing with, in defence with Campbell, who did another, another, another unbelievable effort. Again, one more time. This guy is playing the game now like he is 20 years old and this is for me unbelievable, really unbelievable. I appreciate this a lot. And at the same time, the effort of the, all the wingers of the team to help a lot in defence. The effort, but at the same time, it's unfair when I told you about Campbell because for me it was the, the effort of all the players today. Makuna was defending very well the sides, and Benza was defending very well the sides. We defend very well the middle too, with Hope, with O'Brien, with 18-2. And at the end, we control, I think, with Pipa and Tofolo. They control very dangerous players because we know that the potential of these players, in the, especially on the sides, in the one one situations, uh, was a high level of potential then. I think the, the performance of the team today was really, really good. We've been talking a lot about goalkeepers as well, all season, Carlos. You've had three in the starting lineup. Today, Ryan Schofield got his chance, um, and we're trying to work out for ourselves whether that's because he earned it or is it just because Ben Hamer is still injured? He certainly played well and made some important saves. I think the, the performance today of Ryan was key that to make us to, to win the, the game because for me, he was one of the most important players in the in the pitch. I think without this level of, of skills that he has, uh, it would be more difficult for us to take something positive. So I appreciate this a lot. At the same time, I know the level of, of all the goalkeepers because Benhema, when he was playing the team in the first 11, he was making some clean sheets too, and he was making good performances too. That's why he was in the first keeper, the first option that we have. And unfortunately, uh, Joel didn't have the same level of success of success uh, when he played, but he's a, another keeper that doesn't have any type of doubt in the quality that he has. And like you say now, uh, the performance of Ryan Scofield is a very good performance and he's showing that he has the level to compete in the championship. Just tell us a little bit, if you could, Carlos, about his distribution, his clearances. Um, we saw him taking quick decisions to, to hit it longer, maybe on Wednesday at Coventry as well as today. Have you given him new instructions? Have you told him not to play it short so much? Or what is the information that you're getting to him now? You always think that the players have to make the decision in the pitch. It's like they need to be watching what is the advantage. If the advantage is to play short, you need to play short. If the advantage is to play far, you need to play far. If you don't find any type of advantage, sometimes it's better to lose the ball in the last part of the pitch than to take the risk to lose the ball in the in the closest spaces. But we are going to continue playing with the same idea. We want to dominate the game from the back. Sometimes you can, sometimes you cannot, sometimes the result don't help you to continue having the same type, taking the same type of risks, because always uh, there is a small space of risk when you try to play in the back. 
but the idea of the team is always be looking what is the advantage and trying to use this advantage. It certainly helped your victory today. Congratulations on it. Um, and I've got some really good news for you. You've got no match on Tuesday or Wednesday this week. What are you going to do with yourself, Carlos? Being honest with you, now we are going to have a Sunday, you know, one day off tomorrow in, in, in the next day too. It looks like a, like a holiday. It looks like a 15 days off now <laughs> when you have two days off because we came from one period of games that we did, never stop. We never stop. We were working a lot. We were preparing a lot all the games. We were being fo very focused in the recovery, in the compensation effort of the players. So I think being honest now is, is the best way to, to have one one week to can work after to prepare the next game because of course the next game is going to be very important but first of all we are going to recover because we have played 29 uh, nine games in 29 days and this is a lot of effort for me for the players and at the end I think it was a positive dynamic of results we of course always we want to win the results all the games but at the end we we got in these nine games four wins three defeats and, and two draws and I think the the performance of the team today uh, in the conditions that we play this game, made that they deserve this this small break to come prepare after very well the next game. Have a, a great rest. You certainly have earned it yourself. And a good Christmas. Are you going to have a Christmas? Are you going to allow yourself a proper Christmas here in England? Yes, I I am Catholic. I am someone that is like for me these these moments are special moments always. We are far sometimes of, of our families, but this is one of the sacrifices that we know that we have. But at the same time, we are with, with the friends, we are with the staff, we will celebrate together because for us are, are important days like for everyone. And what we want is to, to prepare after the, the Boxing Day because we know that our fans are going to be with the families there if they can. I hope that they can. I hope that the restrictions don't oh, allow the people to, to stay in the family because for me are very important days for for these type of things. You deserve the break. Merry Christmas from all of us as well to you and your family, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you very much and to you.